good cars, those 996s, aren't they? Just a word before we get the video started in earnest, uh, to stick with it. Mark at Speed Sport Tuning in Danbury sits down with me about halfway through the video and we get into a really good detailed conversation about maintaining a 996, which I think is just really interesting and, uh, you know, just packed full of expertise and information. And I'm very grateful to SST in Danbury too uh, for doing that. So anyway, stick with it. Um, thank you for watching as always and let's get the video started. Hello chaps. Welcome back to the channel. We are taking this car for a service today. By service I mean oil change and filter and that kind of thing. But it's probably a bit more than that as well. Um, as you guys know I've had the car for about six months now and I've done uh, just over 1500 miles. Not very many, you know, lockdown has prevented me from doing very much more than that. But I've spent that six months just getting used to the car really and understanding it and driving it as much as I can understanding what needs to be done and of course number one on that list is the IMS bearing um, and I'm going to do that in January February time when I've, when I've saved up a bit of money it's going to be expensive an engine out uh, job on a Tiptronic uh, so yeah that's that's over four grand uh, US dollars to to do that so um, I am on my way now to speed sport tuning in Danbury Connecticut about 20 minutes from where I live uh, they are the uh, uh, approved uh, distributors for LM Engineering's IMS solution, uh, which is what I want to get fitted to this car. It's the only permanent fix to the IMS bearing issue. And because I like this car a lot, I want to make sure that it gets the best. And I think that is the best that I can do for it. Um, there is a process that you have to go through in order to get the IMS solution warranty, uh, which uh, means that you have to take it to one of their official distributors uh, and they run a process on it, uh, which is checking various things like bore scoring and the state of the current IMS bearing and that it is, generally speaking, a suitable car uh, to have that work done on it. So I'm keen to build a relationship with them They've been very helpful uh, so far. I've spoken to them on the phone, uh, and they said to me, uh, when they bring it, when a car comes in for its first time, what they do is, they, yeah, of course they'll do the service, the oil change, and what have you, no problem. But they will also uh, give it a good once over, a good looking at, uh, and build a list of things that need to be done, and help me prioritise that. Now I'm not by any stretch a mechanic uh, at all. Even though I might be tempted to do an oil change later on down the line, uh, I am keen this particular time to get them to do it because I want to build a relationship with them and I want to uh, you know, get them to know the car in advance of me getting the LN Engineering IMS solution done. So let's see how that goes. I'm hoping that the car is okay. Uh, one never knows. I didn't have it PPI before I bought it. I'm sure that will stimulate some debate in the comments below. The reason I didn't have that done was because uh, I bought it from a Porsche main dealer. It only had 25,000 something miles when I bought it. And I was buying it, uh, you know, because I thought it was a good car. Now, um, I still think it is. I don't get any problems with it, um, but I think Getting them to, to do a good once over with it uh, will be fine. I know they'll recommend an IMS bearing when I've told them I'm already going to get that done. I want them to check the brakes as well. Um, I don't really have any suspicions about the brakes at all. I just want them to, check, to be checked. Um, and then there are a few things that I know that are wrong with it. This indicator stalk thing, they're going to fix that for me today as well. It won't stay in position when I'm in indicating. Um, and that's a, really about it with this car. Um, there's one other issue that I think I'll get done when the IMS is going in, which is the oil pressure gauge sometimes just stops working and it's a dodgy sensor. Um, it tells me it's a dodgy sensor. It's not the fact that I'm not getting oil pressure. Um, we'll get that done when it goes in. Anyway, I'm on my way in uh, to drop the car off. Uh, let's see what it's like. Uh, when I bring it back and what kind of lists they've managed to build on the car. Um, and we'll, we'll go from there. Well, 
speed sport tuning have called and I'm on my way back in he tells me there is a short list of things to look at uh, so we'll take you through that when we get there uh, I hope it's a short short list um, but he did say there's nothing too bad so we'll see okay so what's this is looks like a a long short list it's a short it's a short short list. it's a short short list oh, yeah okay. um it's really just maintenance stuff okay. you know like, like you don't have anything going on bad on the car there's, there's no I don't, you're, so you're, it's a good one i bought a good one you think yeah yeah i do okay. i mean you don't have any i mean it's low mileage so but you don't have any tire concerns you don't have any brake concerns brakes are good uh yeah Oh, yeah, I mean, it's literally just, uh, we talked about the IMS, so, yes. you know, we'll plan on doing that. Um, and then, really, a lot of this stuff we might be able to couple with that job. Okay, because the and that kind of stuff. The big thing is, uh, it's got old style ignition coils in it, do you know about the, yeah. there's an updated ignition coil that they did, I forget how many years they updated it, but they're, Essentially, you can tell the difference because the new ones are tall, the old ones are short. When you have the short ones in there, we know they haven't been done in a long time. Okay. Uh, they've updated them for a reason, you know, that they were prone to failure. And even the new ones aren't perfect. Perfect. But uh, anytime we see old coils, it's we know the plugs haven't been done in a while, or at least somebody did plugs and didn't do the coils. Right. We prefer to do coils when we're doing the plugs. Uh, okay because you're in there yeah. you're it's something we know is bad it's easy to get to when the engine's out Cor yeah. that's where i'm going with yeah. this yeah. so <laughs> um all of that is going to be something of you know cool and flush not going to need to worry about that engine's coming out yeah you know yeah. so it, that's a suggested it's same thing with the coils green coolant in it still which means they made the conversion over to pink coolant years ago oh really which means and, and it's a good sign because it probably means you haven't had an, any water pump issues or any overheating issues but it also means that that coolant's been in there for a number of years right. um uh, drive belt same thing like most of this stuff would be better suited to couple with the engine out engine out ims service uh because you could save a lot of money What's you what, know what happens to drive belts then you know, that just that's just a it's just it, it it's rubber it's old right. rubber okay dry rot uh you know and and there's a newer i don't want to call it newer but there is an issue with the the idler pulleys right, so, okay. that we know about but your car doesn't seem to be exhibiting any of those signs so likely it would just be a drive belt, okay. you know um but you don't have to like we do it in a what we call like a, a major service which we recommend every five years or thirty thousand okay. miles uh and that is fluid flushes uh belts wipers you, you know all your filters everything less like on a on a manual car it would include a gear oil flush the autos we do have to do it as a separate service because it's a lot more involved than just a drain plug and, and a fill but again um, that's something you do as part of taking the engine out anyway whilst but whilst it's out mm -hmm. Well, I would do it. it. There, there, there will be some additional time on top of the IMS job. Yeah. But it's not like it's you know you're talking about maybe four hours additional time as opposed to paying seven and a half or eight hours to do the whole service if we did them as separate jobs. That makes sense. So you're gonna save a lot of money on that. You know the the full service is nine hours in itself. Wow. Okay. Um, it's but it's a full service. You know it, you know less the the transmission because it's auto uh it that adds some time uh but you know i would i would say the best way to do this would be plan to do the service with the you know at least the bulk of the service stuff with the ims job. um you know and parts wise it's you know the ignition coils are expensive that, that, there's no way around that they're expensive Roughly. I want to say 350 or so 350 okay but you know and then you know so that's some people choose not to do it you know something some people choose like well just do the spark plugs i don't want to pay the 350 and like you know and to each his own it's not my money yeah. 
but, but at least doing all this would then put it all off for another five years so give five years before it needs to come back at least to yeah at yeah. least yeah yeah, yeah. And, and, and in between there we're just looking at oil changes yeah. you know you're literally just looking at oil changes um you know because they're not there's not a lot that goes on with these cars you know once you do the ims you're not dealing with a lot of issues you know it, uh, keep oil in it and, and keep tires and brakes on it and then, stuff, right? and then you know once every five years or 30,000 miles depending on if you start driving it some more yeah um yeah yeah exactly That's you know because okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's depending yeah. on that you yeah. you know you you come in for oil changes and we're going to keep an eye on all that stuff as you go yeah. you know so like because brakes you know we might tell you a visit or two before like you're getting close to your brakes yeah okay you know this is you, great. you don't this need to do it right now it's just so helpful to know and someone to sit down with and just talk about it a little bit because i'm a bit of a warrior and it's nice to have you always think something's going to blow on something enormously and spectacularly and of course that's going yeah. no no you will uh, yeah it may do it may not but you know the man's i drive i think it's low risk at the moment yeah so it'll at least survive till january i hope 100%. Uh, but some of the other stuff, you know, this is all sort of stuff that you do to keep on top of things rather than something where you're saying to me, We're not making repairs. Oh my God, this is about to blow. You need Correct. to get on this straight away. Correct. Yeah. Well, you know, we're not talking about repairs. We're not talking yeah, about any, yeah, yeah. anything anything like that. We're just yeah. talking about maintenance. Maintenance. And, and really, a lot of times when clients come in, especially first visit, they're going to have a similar list. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, especially on a newly purchased not car. That. Because unless you're the guy, and I don't know, unless you're the guy that has the the two inch stack from the previous owner, I don't. and and no. we know what that guy did or yeah. or gal, um, you know, we're gonna go through and see what and it just, would need. Yeah. So those are the main things, then. Was there anything else? What about the suspension? Did you notice anything on that? I mean, it, you get some of these cars in here where you're 90, 100,000 miles, yeah. and you're going to be looking at stuff. Yeah. Um, Pushes and things in like your, that. Yeah, in your case, probably your biggest, your biggest concern will be maybe some creaking or, or squeaking at, at, in suspension components, uh, especially as the temperature starts to swing just because of the age of the rubber. Yeah. But it doesn't mean it's failed. Yeah. you know it's just older rubber it's got life left in it and then you look at that when you you know you put it up on the lift you do an oil change we're going to look at that yeah. and then as we spot things we'll say them but you know yeah. i you know there's some people that say well it's it's really old i just want to replace it and then and then sometimes well, nothing's wrong yeah there's you no don't point. Yeah. you don't need to yeah i mean I, you know I, i'll do what you ask but yeah. you know there's no reason to necessarily go into it with that and in your car i mean it's not even a question i mean your low mileage yeah. Uh, you know, there's nothing, you don't have any leaking shocks or anything like that. Cause that, you know, that you hit a bad pothole, you can, you know, it doesn't matter the mileage, you can blow a shock out, but you know, you'll see it. Yeah. You'll see, no, no, you'll you see fluid. Them. You can't legislate for things like that, can you? Correct. So it's just is what it is. Yeah. But that's good to know. It's good to yeah. know. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to breathe easier tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, I mean, you know, especially at the mileage you're doing right now, uh, I think you're fine until we're ready to make you know get the engine out and do the IMS. So okay. I don't I don't think you're in a I don't think you're in a position to worry. And you got the ind indicator stock in okay and that's working all right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. It fine. goes both ways now. That's nice, isn't it? You got bulbs all working. I uh, yeah, saw onto it. So yeah. yeah, you should be uh you should be good. Good. Well, let's go in and sort out the rather less pleasant side right. of things. Sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Well, as car experiences go, that was extremely good on two factors. One, they just were extremely professional, uh, clearly knew what they were talking about, uh, and were happy to spend time with me, um, <clears throat> which I think is always a good sign, going that little bit extra uh, just to make sure the customer understands. And two, uh, I got away with it. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have the car PPI, as I said before, uh, and as it turns out, the car is in pretty good shape. Um, I only need a few maintenance things, which I can do when I get my IMS done, um, as you saw in the chat just then. So, um, 
I'm really pleased about that um, because this is a car I, I was sort of what I am rooting for I'm hoping that I was really rooting that it was a good one and I hadn't just uh, rushed into buying something uh, without uh, you know without checking and then finding out later and probably at great expense either through resale value or what have you or, you know having to spend lots of money to get it into shape you know I, I it's, it's something that I have managed to get right for once so uh, that feels really good so I'm going to bring it back um, in I just noticed my indicator is working perfectly now um, and by the way they've cleaned it just to make the whole car is just gleaming and it looks fabulous so I'm glowing with my experience from uh, speed sport tuning so I'm going to bring it back in January um, and we'll do another update then of course um, and we'll see if they let me in um, you know to go a little bit further into the business and take some pictures of it whilst uh, whilst it's being done. I think that'll be really interesting to see how they do it. Um, they've done two IMS changes this month, so um, that makes me feel good that it's not just some outfit, you know, having a go at it. Uh, these guys seem to know exactly what they're doing, and um, uh, for a car that I really enjoy driving and owning, um, it feels like I've found a bit of a home there. So, um, really good anyway enough from me um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this video if you do and you like this kind of thing then subscribe and hit the bell icon and give me a thumbs up uh, that would be great um, it all helps to keep me going uh, otherwise um, more great videos coming out very soon uh, so stay with me um, and I will see you in the next one thanks so much